Introduction Oh, I am feeling tired. Very tired. Take it. You will feel relaxed. Tina, can you guess how many of each glass of orange juice is needed to fill this jug? I don't know, Sam. How can we measure the volume? Children, in this lesson we will learn about measurement of volume. Come along to know. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Identify three dimensional objects Define volume of an object Learn about the formula for the volume of cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone and sphere. Hey, look at these shapes. What did you notice? These shapes have three dimensions. Length, width and height. Therefore, we call these shapes as three-dimensional shapes. All the three-dimensional shapes are solids. The volume of an object is the amount of space it takes up. For example, an inflated balloon takes up more space than an empty balloon. That means that a balloon that is blown up has more volume than one that hasn't been blown up. Volume can also show capacity. How much a container can hold. A bathtub has more volume than a cup of coffee. Basically, volume is expressed in millimeters cubed, centimeters cubed, and meters cubed. In general, the volume, V, of a solid is given by area of the base into height, where A is the area of the base of the solid and H is the height. Let's learn about the volumes of different objects. See, this is a cube having three dimensions, length, height and width. It is like an empty box and has six equal square sides of the same size. How will you measure its volume? Think. First, consider this square with each side with the length L. Next, let's change this square into a cube. Note that all the sides of a cube have the same length, L. To find the volume of the cube, we just need to multiply the area, A, with L. Hence, by multiplying these three L's together, we get L cube. Therefore, the formula for the volume of a cube is L cube. Look at this closed box. This is a cuboid which has six rectangular faces. Its volume is calculated as height into width into length, or simply volume equals to H into W into L. A solid that has the shape of an ordinary tin can or a drum is a cylinder. The two bases of a cylinder are circular in shape. We know area of a circle is equal to pi r square. For calculating volume, we will multiply area of a circle with the height. So, the volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square into h. Wow, yummy ice cream! Have you ever wondered how much ice cream it would take to fill up a cone? Have a close look at its cone. It has a round base which narrows to a point. Are you interested in measuring its volume? Volume of a cone is simply given by 1 by 3 pi r square h, where h is equal to height of the cone and r is equal to radius of the circular base of the cone. What do we call this round ball? Yes, it's a sphere. It looks same from every angle, isn't it? The formula to find the volume of this sphere V is 4 over 3 pi r cube. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Shapes having three dimensions, length, width and height, are known as three-dimensional shapes. The volume of an object is the amount of space it takes up. Volume can also show capacity of a container, how much it can hold. Volume of cube is equal to L cube.
volume of a cuboid is equal to height into width into length. Volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h. Volume of cone is equal to 1 over 3 pi r square h. Volume of sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube.